Hey, we're on location once again. This is our last remaining vacant space in the Fred Young's building, 50 deep, about 30 or 31 feet wide, and a couple windows, entry door, windows covered up there, around back, camera works a little shaky, back door. So. This is what it looks like when you have a clean slate. This is another example of a building that has no interior load bearing walls. The trusses on the roof carry the load from north exterior wall to south exterior wall. And it's a clean slate, do whatever we want in, in the middle. We have a drywall ceiling about 12 feet up. And that is so we can meet fire code because a truss is made of wood in our case and wood is combustible. But when you have drywall, gypsum board, it is non-combustible. That just needs to be fire taped before we finish it. You can see that the, um, the seams and the screws need to be coated with uh, drywall plaster or mud. And so when you have a clean slate like this, and we're about ready for a dumpster as you can see, Again, you can do anything you want. <clears throat> We've got plumbing underneath the floor. We put some plumbing in when we were finishing the adjacent suite. Now we have some interest in this suite, and wouldn't you know it, the interested party wants the restroom closer to the front. Well, it's nothing that a concrete saw and a little bit of muscle can't handle, but um, anything's possible. Sometimes they cost money. So this is another example of when you have a clean slate, you can do anything you want. You can put the walls wherever you want. The beauty, and I touched on the, the fact that the ceiling's 12 feet up. The beauty of that is we can put a drop ceiling or a suspended ceiling at 10 feet or nine feet up, still have two or three feet to run ductwork and mechanicals. And in a smaller office, such as um, 1500 square feet or so, an eight foot ceiling doesn't add to the openness and spacious feel that uh, customers and clients want and business owners want customers and clients to have when they walk in the door. So our favorite thing to do is make the entry area a 10 foot ceiling and the HVAC guys are still happy because two feet of space is plenty to run their uh, duct work and then put a bulkhead or down the halls into each individual room, keep the ceiling at nine feet. When I build anything, I don't like to have anything under a nine foot ceiling. It looks so much more spacious. Now in a subsequent video here pretty quick, uh, we'll go into the neighboring space that's almost done. I'll wait until the ceiling grid is up so you, the viewer, can actually have an appreciation for what nine foot ceiling looks like and then 10 foot ceiling in a relatively small office space. Till next time. Have a great day. Hey, everybody. We're here in the Edward Jones suite. We are ready to turn it over to our tenant, and we're doing a video walkthrough. Had the final cleaning today, all ceiling tiles and lights have been installed. Final electrical inspection happened in the last 24 hours and we have the certificate of occupancy so we are a hundred percent ready to turn this facility over front uh, and welcome area you can see spick and span facility letters and fry regulet trim walking into the first office a couple residual um, Maybe pieces of flooring and uh, paint. We'll put those in the storage room. Looking good. Progressing down the hallway on the west side to more offices. All the ceiling tiles, lights. The low voltage guys have to come back. That is a corporate thing. That's not a landlord thing to make the terminations. Next office, same thing. 100% complete except for the low voltage uh, terminations. And then back door or emergency exit. Mechanical room. Furnace water heater. Sink. 
cabinets. Next room. Client and or facility restroom, all spick and span. And private room as determined by the lock set on the door. Everything is uh, done here. So we are ready to turn this facility over and that is a wrap. Take care.